Hi, Phil Aston here from Now Spinning Magazine with another feature. Uh, it's an album review. It's actually quite a few albums being reviewed and it's the Scorpions. And BMG have wonderfully reissued on vinyl, on coloured vinyl, 12 albums by the Scorpions. So I toyed with the idea of doing these um, as separate videos, but then thought the best way of doing it was probably all together. And then I thought, and the other thing I need to do, which I do a lot in my videos, is to probably dive in quite deeply and where I can um, talk about the differences between previous versions, where I have them, and also the CD variants as well. But talk to you as a fan of the Scorpions. So as you know, in Now Spinning Magazine, we are not vinyl only, we're not CD only, we just support all physical formats, and this is for music fans who just love to, you know, be close to the music by actually purchasing the physical component of being a fan of a band, you know, in that way. So I'm going to go through all 12 albums and compare them, where, I, as I said, where I've got them, looking at the CD and older versions, and then at the very end, because I know buying 12 albums all at once, for those of you who are considering this, is an outlay, I'm going to pick five Scorpions albums from this batch that I feel are essential for your collection uh, as rock fans or musicologists or just people who are just starting your journey into the Scorpions. So I don't presume that everyone watching this is from a certain vintage, you've got everything by the Scorpions and seen them loads of times. This is also for anyone who discovers the band months from now and you come and find this video. I hope you find it useful. Anyway, let's dive straight in. The first one is Flight of the Rainbow from 1974. This is my original Canadian pressing, which I bought from a record shop in Birmingham um, in the cutout section, I think it was. It wasn't very expensive at all. And it's, it's not the best album design, um, but the Scorpions did have some dodgy covers through, the, through their career. But it's okay. The new one, which comes in absolutely stunning, like fluorescent purple vinyl, um, is absolutely amazing. It's absolutely amazing. The other thing about these, as it says on the front cover, they're all remastered from the original tapes. They're on 180 gram heavyweight vinyl, coloured vinyl, and they're in soft touch card. Now, what's that? Um, you know, if you go into a bookshop uh, in the UK, Waterstones, a lot of paperbacks and hardback books have that kind of really tactile, kind of soft card where sometimes the lettering is in a glossy lettering, but the card itself for the rest of the cover is in a really tactile, smooth feel. These albums have been put together with that kind of card. So I've, I've left the cellophane on with some of them, but on some of, some of the double ones I haven't, and you'll be able to hopefully see that better. So this, as I've just shown you, is in a wonderful coloured vinyl. It's a really, really great pressing. Um, polyline sleeves. I'm seeing more and more polyline sleeves now um, from many record labels. And it's wonderful to know. Maybe it's to do with the campaign for polyline sleeves from Now Spending Magazine. Who knows? But it's a great, great thing to see. There's a lot more bass and mid-range on this pressing than there is on this. This is going to be retired. Um, this sounds absolutely beautiful. Um, Speed is coming. Um, sounds amazing. Yuli John Roth's guitar sweeping in and out, but it's the bass response and the the drums and that feel that gives this an absolute ten out of ten. It really does. How does that compare with the CD? The CD is not being looked after very well. Um, mine's from an RCA pressing, it's old. Um, this one hasn't been um, given the deluxe treatment or even the remastering by uh, BMG at, at the point of me doing this um, video. And so it's like, it's okay. But I have to say the new vinyl album trumps it, really does. The next one I have is In Trance, which I don't have on vinyl. Um, and this is a great album. They, they're all good albums, so I've got to make sure I don't make this video so long as I talk, as I wax lyrical about every single one of them. I don't have the this on vinyl apart from this new version, and it sounds fantastic. Um, I'll try and show you the, again, poly lined in a sleeve. 
this is icon silver vinyl and sounds absolutely fantastic and i'm so pleased it's in really protective sleeve again it's in this um soft touch uh sleeve as well i've left the cellophane on for now um but i can feel it underneath that it's really tactile and again as i said remastered from the original tapes um does it say who's done it it does somewhere doesn't it remastered by bear with me because they're all remastered by the same the same no they're not actually they're remastered by separate people in cases remastered by misha janish for sunshine mastering uh, so this is the 1975 album um for cd i have a japanese um edition on this and that sounds brilliant it really does um but this also sounds fantastic and it's a really really good album the artwork is the same there's probably a little bit more shading for that to probably protect the model's modesty more than the original um, but it's really really good next is virgin killer which um, again i don't have on vinyl um this had a very risque cover um that thankfully has disappeared i hope forever um and this was the this is the cover that most of you will know um and again it's a great album listening to it afresh it kind of there are elements of queen in scorpion sound from this this period um but it really is fantastic what color is this this is in blue vinyl and again an absolutely perfect pressing the only cd version i have again is an early rca one which is okay but you know the vinyl sounds warm rich robust powerful and um brilliant next i do have vinyl which is taken by force now this was the uk cover to start with and this was the first scorpions album i ever bought i remember jeff barton from sounds reviewing this because lots of people were talking about the scorpions say why don't you feature the scorpions in sound and i think he called it taken by farce which is incredibly unkind because it's a really really great album will burn the sky is one of the best rock ballads but it's rock songs with balladish bits i've got to be free um, by roth is brilliant the right about time sales of sharon your light he's a woman she's a man born to touch your feelings and this came with a live picture of the band and the lyrics now this was a different cover because the the cover in germany was this one which i think was withdrawn because it showed two people you know literally bad shoot each other in a graveyard um so that was obviously withdrawn but it's a really really a great pressing see the uk cover is on the inner sleeve so it's not a polyline sleeve but it's very smooth and it's not going to harm your record this is on white vinyl this one but there's another difference with this one that doesn't happen with the others and it has an extra track strangely enough um and the track is suspender love which is a bonus track which coming after born to touch your feelings which was a wonderful way of the album to end on a ballad with all those voices moving from speaker to speaker seems a bit of a seems a bit of a mix match in some ways that um suspended love could have been slotted in before that but that's an extra track and the cd sounds fantastic as well i'm pointing these out because they're also by bmg records who did a wonderful job on these these came out in 2015 so they're not easy to find now but i'm mentioning them because if you're a scorpions fan or you're on this journey they are worth finding i mean this came as a fold out sleeve with a booklet and etc but it also came with one two three four five six seven extra tracks of which suspender love was one of the bonus tracks so i can see why after the work was done with that they added it on here the next one is an absolutely superb record and one of my favorite live albums and it is tokyo tapes um the the production of the print is a little bit harsher in the photography but it's exactly the same as it was on the cd so it's irrelevant in a way um this is a superb live double um and i've played them back to back and the new edition just completely blows that out of the water for clarity and again the main thing that's coming across with these new vinyl 
um, additions is the bass and the mid-range where, where it is in the sound stage in the se stereo separation. They just sound immense, it really, really does. Um, so this is a double and again, polyline sleeve, gorgeous yellow, it's that Japanese yellow, obviously fits the lettering on the front of the cover uh, very, very well. Um, but absolutely superb. Now I have to say that the the CD version, which was seed, um, which is a double with great booklet, that also comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bonus tracks as well. So there's no bonus tracks on the vinyl, otherwise it would have been a triple. And the CD version here sounds absolutely spectacular. So, you know, again. This isn't, a, this isn't a video about retiring your CD versions. Again, BMG did a fantastic job with this set series when they issued the CDs. But this, and this is, obviously I've taken off the cellophane for this, the tactile, really smooth cover, feels luxurious and feels worth the money. I think these are about um, 26.99 to 32.99 uh, currently on Amazon when I was looking. And I think that's an excellent price for these classic records. I really, really do. The next one um, is Love Drive. And this is my original on Harvest Records. And you know what? I played it, when I played it when I, before I was doing the, doing research into this video, it sounds really not as good as the last time I remember, how as I remember it, because it's been a long time since I've played this. And, um, and it's another kind of typical Scorpions cover by Hypnosis. And um, and this is the one with Michael Schenker on. It was the real turnaround. Yuli had left and this really launched them. People really started to look up and listen to the Scorpions when this album arrived. But listening to this version, which is my original from 1979, it sounds a bit flat, to be honest. This, which is the new one, um, sounds absolutely fantastic. Now this, this one is, as I said, some are mastered by different people. The RCA ones, uh, which were RCA records, um, with Lee John Roth, as I said, are mastered by a different person to the next batch. And this was digitally remastered in 2015 by Dieter Wegner and, the, and it's DMM, Direct Metal Mastering, Vinyl Cutting by John Creamer at Railroad Track Studios. And this sounds, absolutely fantastic it really really does the photography of the band picture again i'm a bit of a train spotter in this stuff it's a little bit over over exposed but again most of this is probably facsimiles but the front cover is fine inside you get the lyrics um, which you didn't get with the original and this is on red vinyl already read for the month of love um and it sounds absolutely fantastic. It really does. Now, and this, as we move forward through the, the CD series at this point, um, they change in their, in how they've been put together. The other thing I'll say on this one is, I think the vinyl sounds better than the CD master on this. There's something about the CD mastering that sounds a bit harsh, almost overloaded in places, but where, what, why, the CD series is worth tracking down is because they start to come with DVDs. And this comes with a live DVD from 1979, um, you know, which is like 46 minutes of the band from this period. You know, this is the first song of the Matthias Jabs on guitar. And the DVD makes that absolutely essential. It really, really does. But this, this pressing, this new pressing um, of Love Drive by the Scorpions um, sounds absolutely wonderful. You know, the tracks like here, another piece of meat, um, Coast to Coast. Coast to Coast is an instrumental song with such power, such power and Schenker, Michael Schenker's on that. Um, and also you've got Holiday, which is a great ballad. Love Drive itself, is anybody there? Heavy metal reggae, anybody? Um, absolutely brilliant, Can't Get Enough, which is just a wild uh, metal track. Absolutely fantastic. What was next? Next was uh, I don't have on vinyl. I never bought it because I, I used to hear the zoo at all the rock discos when I was growing up and I never liked that track. So I avoided it. Again, I didn't have that much, much money back then, so it was just left on the shelf. A clever play on words for um, the title of the album, Animal Magnetism. 
and but time has been very kind to this um it, it felt a bit rushed but there's some great tracks on here outside of the track the zoo which i've actually warmed to and this one also comes with the lyrics on the inner sleeve and this is in also red vinyl it sounds fantastic and also the the cd remaster was on a single disc but it did come with one two three four five six six bonus tracks as well um the sound is comparable um but again there are bonus tracks and they're not demos there's some really good songs on there but this is another great pressing my next one was blackout which i bought on the fame label um really cheaply back then and I, obviously i played that i played and the main track i played on this was china white which is my one of my favorite scorpions tracks and this is the new vinyl remaster and i'm picking it up and i know some of you have a thing about 180 gram vinyl some of you like it some of you don't um it's something very i don't know I'm trying going back to those days in the mid to late 80s when people were starting to offload their vinyl or, or it's been sold at four pounds uh, each at h and and the Virgin Megastore as everyone started to feel more connected to the CDs. But this feel, still feels. But this one, called Blackout, feels a solid heavy metal album. I think the Scorpions were a very clever band. That They were really full-on heavy metal band but they kind of disguised it so that people actually thought they were they had hits they almost as if they were pop sensibilities but they were really really heavy heavy songs you know things like blackout is a fantastic heavy track um and obviously things like can't live without you give me all i need dynamite of course blackout absolutely superb china white uh, as i said fantastic and a typical picture of the band there this is on I think it's transparent vinyl. So what does it sound like? It sounds it sounds immense. I'm using that word a lot, but it sounds absolutely fantastic. Brilliant pressing. I absolutely adored playing this. Um, here the CD is also incredible. Uh, incredible remastering on this. This comes with a bonus DVD from Rock Pop in Concert, which is 43 minutes. Sorry. I stand corrected. It's a whole concert on DVD plus a documentary, The Story of Blackout, which is 45 minutes long. So there's tons of visual material on this, on the, the DVD CD remasters from 2015. But um, obviously the focus here is on the vinyl out releases, but this does sound incredible. It really does. Next is Worldwide Live. Um, which I remember buying at the time. Um, this is my original, and I played several tracks from this to compare. And the new vinyl pressing, again, trumps the original vinyl that I have. I said re recently, I wasn't sure why vinyl was being remastered when it did come out in the 80s, when a lot of the production techniques were very, very good. Um, I'm gonna stand corrected on this batch of albums um, for the Scorpions because every single vinyl album where I have the vinyl equivalent sounds better on these new releases than it does on the originals. And I think this is important, important to say for those of you who are scanning Discogs and eBay looking for an original first pressing for bands like this or this particular batch if you like because you don't need to do that. You can go and get a brand new copy of Worldwide Live. And in fact, this one also has something extra in it, which I'll show you. Um, this is on orange vinyl because these sound absolutely incredible. They sound far better than the, than the, than the, one, the, the one I bought in the mid eighties. This one also comes with, if I can retrieve it, this one also comes with a poster and it's it's a very big poster as well um, this one comes with a poster for the tour at the time which wasn't in my original so I think that's a, a really nice touch as well so 
So if you want to experience the scorpions live, um, then that is definitely the one to get. Um, what did the, oh, and of course, the CD version came with Worldwide Live, which is the Scorpions um, captured on and off stage. It's one of the most famous music DVDs, or well, VHS tapes, sorry, in the 80s was by the Scorpions. It really captured them at the height of their powers. And the live show is over an hour long. And there's also a documentary of 20 minutes showing how they made the album as well. So this is worth getting for the DVD, but for the absolute quality of sound as well, this new vinyl edition is absolutely superb. Where did I go next? The next place I went was Love at First Sting, which was one of their biggest sellers in 1984. I think this may have come with a poster, but it's long gone. Came, must have fallen off the bedroom all a long time ago. This was on Harvest, and I kind of, it was, they were so popular at this time, I kind of didn't connect to this album as much as perhaps I have done in more recent years, but Bad Boys Running Wild, Rocky Like a Hurricane, I'm Leaving You, Coming Home, The Same thr Thrill, Big City Nights, As Soon As The Good Times Roll, Crossfire and Still Loving You, which is a great, typical Scorpions ballad. Great, great album. All of these albums were produced by Dick Dirks as well, and he, was, he had an ear for great guitar sound and obviously fantastic stuff. So it's, it's a great sounding album. The new version, um, sounds better. Everything else is identical. Um, this is on grey vinyl or silver vinyl, depending on uh, how you view it. But it sounds absolutely superb. So again, the new one replaces the old one. And I'm playing this on a you know good system through a good deck and. It just sounds great. And um, I just check that it's remastered by the same people. It is indeed. Um, direct metal mastering as well. And it's just, it's just absolutely incredible. My, this DVD CD version is worth a mention because it comes with one, two, three, four, five bonus tracks. It also comes with a second CD of Live at Madison Square Garden, which is a full concert from 1984, which is unique to this set. And it also comes with a bonus DVD. So this is a three disc set, which covers all the MTV music videos of Rocky Like a Hurricane, I'm Leaving You, Big City Nights, Still Loving You, plus TV appearances as well, and the story of the album of another 36 minutes. So that's a big deluxe package. But for vinyl, um, the new vinyl version is completely far superior to the original one from, you know, from the 80s. As we come to uh, the end of this section now, and the next one I bought was Savage Amusement from 1980, 1988. I really like this album. Um, it didn't go down that well. The heavy metal world was changing. There's a lot going on with thrash metal appearing and all sorts of stuff. But I really liked it. Tracks like Rhythm of Love, Don't Stop at the Top were, were really, really good. Um, it didn't quite have the firepower of earlier albums, but it was good. Playing this again today, I mean, the, this is a game where I think vinyl was starting to, got the lyrics, was starting to lose its luster in a way. And this is not a great pressing. And, you know, it's not a great pressing. And I think my ears, were, a lot of us were get, are getting tired ears with these kind of like, it didn't, just didn't feel the same as earlier vinyl pressings. The late 80s was really where the record companies were thinking, hmm, where do we want people to go? Enter stage left. For me in this case is the new vinyl version of Savage Amusement, which again comes with the lyrics with different colored card. And this is on a lovely translucent blue color vinyl. It sounds absolutely incredible. You know, I am, I, I was someone who was incredibly skeptical about things being reissued on vinyl and thinking, you know, what's the difference? It's vinyl, isn't it? You find the, if they've got their plates still, they'll just press in, it is what it is. Um, this has made a massive difference to this set of albums. Um, 
it really has made me think differently. And the production, the pressings here, the polylined inner sleeves where they are, the more tactile and smoother innards with, with, with softer insides have made a difference. The heavier vinyl and also this, this soft touch card. And this is about, I think it's 26.99. It's a bargain for an album of this stature. It really, really is. Um, the CD and DVD, because that's what they all were. This was To Russia With Love and A Savage Amusements, which is a documentary. Um, and all the songs performed are listed and music videos and a documentary for another 26 minutes. The CD and DVD set is fantastic. And the, the CD also sounds great. But these packages are really for the visual side, really, in a way. But they are essential part of the of the Scorpions fans collection. So that is absolutely brilliant. The last one in this series, I don't have on CD and I don't have on vinyl. Um, this was new to me and it's Scorpions Humanity from 2007 and it's a double album and it's a wonderful, again, this lovely tactile card, gatefold sleeve. Very different to the Scorpions. This is on like gold marbled vinyl. It's a very luxurious, um, it feels luxurious. Now I don't know how hard wearing this soft touch card would be, but in a way I've got lots of paperback books and books sitting next to each other in a bookcase with this feel of card and they're fine. So there's no reason why it wouldn't be. Um, this is very different to the Scorpions. Um, obviously they'd sailed through grunge and they were still finding their feet. It's more, there's, there's almost some of the acoustic based stuff almost sounds like Mark Knopfler might suddenly turn up. But, and the rock type stuff is quite heavy, really mid 90s, hard metal gated um, kind of guitar sound. Uh, although this is 2007, but it's it's a concept album. It's more, it's bleak. It's not kind of, you know, the Scorpions had all the way through their careers, but especially from the eight, all the way through the 80s, they were a good time, joyous, rock and roll, heavy metal band, you know, just always smiling, always grinning. It was all about fun. Um, this album feels like it should be coming out this year based on what's going on around us when we when we turn on the news. Um, you know, things like, you know, the future never dies or something it, it, and stuff like that. Humanity, love will keep us alive, we will rise again. Um, love is war. It, it's It's, it's more hard hitting, it's more socially conscious, very different to the Scorpions, but I absolutely loved it. Um, side four is quite short, literally four, five, six, seven minutes long, but you know, they, if they'd have crammed it on, there's an extra track on here, this would have been one of those albums where it was three sides and an etching on side four. Um, but I, I really, really like it. So those are the 12 new vinyl releases for the Scorpions and just a touch on the CD side for those of you watching who may be interested in the the DVDs that come with those as well. So buying 12 Scorpions albums all at once is probably not within reach for many of us. So what I want to do now is pick five of these which I would say are essential or a good place to start. So where have I put them? Um, so the first one is Tokyo Tapes. And I've picked Tokyo Tapes because um, of all the, this gives you the best of all the Yuli Roth era Scorpions tracks in one place. I know some people aren't fans of um, live albums, etc. but I love live albums. This is wonderfully recorded. The atmosphere is fantastic. Lily John Roth's sweeping dive bombing on his tremolo arm, you know, on tracks like um, In Search of Peace of Mind. No, sorry, Flight of the Rainbow, sorry. Um, it's, just, uh, it's just absolutely stunning. And the start of Speed is Coming, etc. This is essential, okay? So this is one of my five that I recommend those of you thinking, where shall I start? You start with, okay? Next would be Blackout, one of the best heavy metal albums of that period, bar none. It's absolutely incredible record. 
Um, there is not one bad track on this record. And it's amazing how far they developed and the sound they were creating with Dynamite, Arizona, When Smoke's Going Down, and China White. China White is just an epic seven minutes of pure genius. It really, really is. So that would be number two in my list. Okay, so where would I go for number three? Number three is Love at First Sting. I think this is a fantastic record. Um, as I said at the time, I felt like I got tied with it really quickly because it was everywhere. They were on MTV all the time. But listening to it now, especially on this new pressing, it's really brought it home that every single track um, hit the mark. And the ballad Still Loving You is a masterclass in Scorpion's ballads, of which, of course, nearly every album has one on. Um, it really does. Number four is Love Drive. I think because Schenker, Michael Schenker's on it, it was the start of a new beginning for them. And as I said earlier when I mentioned it, the tracks on here are sublime. Holiday is in, again another one of their rock ballads. Um, but there's the Coast to Coast, um, it's a fantastic track. But I think it's a hearing this version has really brought it back to life for me. Um, as I say, the, on this case, this sounds better than the remastered CD. It's the only case where that I really felt that, but this is absolutely brilliant. And number five is Humanity, the most recent one that I've heard. And I've picked it in the top, the five essential albums to get because it's so different. And I love it when bands like try something new. It doesn't always work, um, but in the long run, it does work. It's a bit like Judas Priest's Nostradamus. It didn't work at first, but now lots of people now are looking back at that and saying, well, a classic album it is. Um, and this is the same. Um, I just think it shows the different light and shade in the different places that the you know musicians can go based on what's going on around them. And I think it fits in very well with the other four albums that I've picked or what you should, where you should start, first of all. Um, could I take that down to two? Possibly, and if I did, it would be Tokyo Nights and Blackout. And if I took it down to one, I'd start with Tokyo Nights. <laughs> I hope that's been helpful. So that is the 12 new vinyl reissues from BMG, and they are absolutely fantastic. Really well put together. So many times I'm kind of like on the fence over some vinyl issues, but these are all Fantastic, great, great sounding. The, re, the remastering is fantastic. It's made a huge difference. My old copies can be retired where I have them. The CDs sound great anyway. So those of you who've got those, you don't need to get rid of them. Uh, you've also got all the, uh, the visual material as well. And those of you who haven't got them, seek them out because it tells the whole story of the Scorpions and why they are such a loved and fantastic band. Thank you for watching, thank you for being here. Please subscribe, share, tell your friends, tell everyone you've ever met, ring that little bell, become a patron, become a supporter on YouTube. Take care, remember music is the healer and the doctor. Stay safe, keep spinning those discs, and I shall see you very, very soon.